Hey, if you got an RME audio interface, you can use their Total Mix software to export the audio out of your DAW directly into OBS Studio without using any other software. I'm going to show you how. Here's RME Total Mix FX. Here's OBS Studio. The DAW that I'm going to be using is Reaper, but it doesn't matter. You can use any DAW. And our sound source is going to be Beatmaker RT7070. You can see right here that the audio from the computer's microphone is being recorded by OBS Studio. And I'm going to turn that off by going to Settings Audio because that is really gross sounding microphone. So now the only thing that you're going to be hearing is the audio from my iPhone and whatever's recorded from the desktop audio, which is nothing. What we want is we want the output of the DAW to be recorded in OBS Studio. Let's go to the matrix view. Now I'm only doing simple home recording, so I'm only using inputs and outputs one and two. I'm gonna start all the way over from the right from the last inputs and outputs in eight at seven and eight. I want the software playback to go to eight at seven and eight, and I'm gonna click on the outputs as well. We come back to the mixer view. Now what I should see if I make a sound is that the meters jump on ADAT 7 and 8, which is the expected result. Now if you hit this little wrench here and click on dupe pack, that's going to send the sound back into the input on channel 7 and 8 but you still can't hear anything in OBS. We're gonna to come to OBS Studio, go into the settings. We want the audio settings. I think the reason why people may have trouble with this is if you set the desktop audio to be 8 at 7 and 8 input. Still, nothing happens because RME Total Mix is saying that this loopback is an auxiliary input. I'm going to turn it off. And instead, in microphone or auxiliary audio, you could choose either this one, two, three, four, doesn't matter. I'm going to select an input as a dot seven and eight. And now when we make a sound, Ta-da, you can hear it. Thanks for watching the Dog Days music. I hope you found that useful. If you did, hit the like button. And in the comments below, I'd like to see if you got that to work out, if you've got any tips or tricks, or maybe if you've got some tutorials that you'd like to see in the future. Have a good one.